you still feel like you've opened yourself to the world, hi. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Sydney. Welcome to my channel and to my section Rusaliana, where I tell you specifically about my life in Russia. I usually shoot these videos in Italian, but I've decided for this time to try with English because I, I want to reach out to more people. So the question I've been asked by several people from various countries around the world is, why? why? Why don't you leave Russia? Why do you keep staying there if the situation is so bad? If, uh, you know, Russia is at war with Ukraine? How come you've been there for so long? And uh, how come a person like you who's been educated in Europe has preferred Russia over other countries? So why I chose Russia in the first place? I mean, I'm not even sure that I chose Russia. It's not like I had a set of countries I had to choose among and I decided, oh yeah, I like Russia over all of the other countries in the world. I studied Russian at university. It's a whole story why I chose Russian, uh, because I don't know. I just uh, really liked English and I thought English was far too popular. And I knew other languages, but they were also quite popular. And I thought that I wanted to try something completely new and challenging, especially taking into account the fact that I understood from studying history at school that I had one vision of the world, which was the Western vision. And I was very curious to get to know whether there are other perspectives. Uh, well, one day I was just looking for a job and by chance I found uh, a job opportunity here in Moscow. And I thought I've always wanted to live in Russia for a period of time. At first, I was very fascinated by the city of Moscow. It was 2012 when I moved here for work. At the first year, at least, I stayed because of professional reasons, because I felt that I wanted to explore the country more. I felt that being this fluent only in English was a, ha was a handicap, you know? You still feel that, you open your, that you've opened yourself to the world, but you have only partially. Because English might be the international language, but still it's not the mother tongue of many, many, many people who don't speak English. There is a second reason, it's people. Because, you know, I started making friends here. It was very difficult because at, at first I had, I had nobody here. One day I just basically woke up and I was 30 and I had been spending in Russia several years and got accustomed to the culture, to life in Moscow. Even if I had gone back to Italy, it, would, it wouldn't have been a return, but I would have had to start from scratch again. February the 24th was a shock uh, <laughs> for everybody. I can't say that anything has changed for worse in my everyday life. I know for sure that things have changed for worse for the people in Ukraine who are losing their, out of their houses, for those people who are losing their children to this war. And these people are not only in Ukraine, they are in Russia as well. I, I know that things have changed for worse for those people who possibly have lost their jobs because of the companies leaving Russia. Until May, I've kept working as a teacher. We suddenly had no access to certain teaching resources we had access to before, uh, which I find very petty. Because, I mean, if the point is that we want to raise awareness uh, among the Russians about what's happening and how shitty their government is, then we should keep the doors open for communication. And when we are cutting these channels of communication, we're just helping them to stay close in their boundaries. And by the way, it, I mean, most of the people I know don't think that Russia is the best country in the world. Do you really want to communicate with people in this country? Then you should. Isn't staying in Russia supporting the regime? Recently, uh, I've also become a Russian citizen at last. I've come to the conclusion that it's a very stupid question. 
example, there was this French uh, old friend of mine recently who was asking me, well, how come you stayed in Russia? Uh, your life doesn't turn around politics and especially international politics. We haven't seen thousands of Americans fleeing the country because they were against the war in Iraq. And uh, I'm sure there were many people who were against, but not only we haven't seen them, but I haven't seen, I don't remember having seen anybody asking the Americans, oh, aren't you ashamed of keeping living in this country if you don't agree with, with what the government does? This friend of mine was justifying what she was saying with the principle of democracy, saying that in countries like Russia, uh, everything is done just for the collective good and not for the personal good, which I think, I mean, it's not black and white. During the pandemics in Europe, which is supposedly a democratic area, we have been doing so many things for the greater good that we're against individual freedom that uh, you, you would wonder, uh, is it really true that in democratic countries we do things only for the individuals? And of course, um, you can choose to leave a country because you don't agree with what the government does, but it doesn't mean that everybody should if they are really up for freedom, for human rights and blah, blah, blah. There is not one way of expressing your freedom of making a statement. I mean, there is not one way to protest. And, and actually, there is not one way to change the world, and protesting is not the only one way to change the world. On the one hand, the purpose of, a, of somebody's life doesn't have to be to change the country where this person lives, where this person lives. On the other hand, if this person feels an urge to change the surrounding world, then leaving the country is not a way of changing it. To me, it is in no way a valid political statement. There is uh, one person I know uh, who lives in a country in Central Europe. He will not come back to Russia until the war finishes. This person chooses not to see his grandchildren, we don't know until when, because his home country is at war with another country. If, if we are criticizing this type of propaganda that puts the people against each other, if we criticize this regime, aren't we playing the game of this regime if we put politics before people? Politics is something that is done for people. It's not done for politics itself. If you really feel the urge to change a country, I think you should know that there are many ways to change a country, and one way is by staying and doing your everyday work. One way is being an example of the change you want to happen. Being in Russia, I have done so much to grow up myself and to change the world around me, because I've been a teacher, I've been working with children, teenagers, adults, telling about my culture, about the English language, the British culture. Uh, I've been traveling. I am an Italian citizen, a European citizen, and I can be at the same time a Russian citizen. I'm going to publish more content in English every now and then, so please subscribe to my channel and bye-bye.